Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another episode of the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. And as you can see, we are exactly where we were at the start, at the end, actually, of the last episode. We are in the Volcano Manor Cave, I think, right? That's what it's called. It's just Volcano Cave, not Volcano Manor. Uh, looks like it's a demi human cave. There's one with the red eyes. They all got the red eyes now. Oh man, they big mad. They are big mad. Look at them coming at us. Now we're gonna have to put them down one by one. You silly monkeys. Are you for real? Can I get like one swing in, please? There we go. See y'all later. See you later, alligator. Bam, 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 bam. After a while, crocodile. Uh, what do we got going here? Okay, looks like there's a passage that way. Passage that way and a passage that... Ooh. Ooh. Looks like I might have aggroed those boys over there. What's in here? This is how I do it. When people start raging at me, I just stomp them. Pump of flesh, budding cave moss. Oh, there's a boy here. Hello. Boom. Rat boy, motherfucker. You stamp him down, baby. You just stamp him down. That's how you get it done. Now, before we continue, though, I want to check out the other side, because the other side uh, was where those monkeys came from. Those demi-humans. Should I be calling them monkeys or apes? Probably apes, because we descend from apes, not monkeys. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, there's another cave this way. This is the way... All right, yep, here it is. Get this. Get this. Golden Rune 6. This is an interesting dungeon. There's a passageway here. I like how they just rage out because it gives me time to murder them. Wait, what? a Lindell band. Why'd you boys go and, go and steal a Lindell banner, huh? <laughs> yeeted! Get yeeted, son. I think I'm grossly overleveled for this one, considering I'm one-shotting just about everything in here. Oh, the coil shield. I remember that. It's a uh, snake shield. This used to be present in the, whatchamacallit, in the um, network test that was uh, in Limgrave. Armor designed for gladiatorial combat rises above its peers as a particularly showy specimen. The sculpted bronze snake is a poisonous breed, boosting the wielder's resistance to poison. Give the shielder a quick shake, temporarily bring the bronze snake viper to life, and inciting it to lash out and bite foes. Yeah, I don't know if, if you guys have seen this or not. It's, it's actually pretty cool. I mean, it, it's too small of a shield for me, but it can do this. So it becomes a poison whip on top of it being a shield. It al it's also a poison whip. I don't think I've ever used great shields as much as I've used throughout this playthrough. In other Souls games, I always like to keep the option to parry. But because of guard counters, I much prefer guard counters. Okay. What what have you got behind door number one? What what's behind here? Oh, it's Maggie's sister. It's Margaret. Oh damn. 
Margaret, no! Did you just yeet your staff at me? She's gone feral! Margaret, no! Not staggered, I'm surprised. There we go. Bye, Margaret. Wait, why couldn't I counter her? That was not fair. Excuse me? Excuse me? Thirty four strength, twelve dexterity. I do not have twelve dexterity. Actually, I have fourteen. Why do I have fourteen dexterity? I'm so confused. Why exactly do I need 14 dexterity? Oh, I have 14 dexterity because of my charm. That's why. Uh, okay. Uh, continuing, continuing. Forget, forget about all that. Let's let's look at this 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 beautiful cannon thing. I like cannons. I like things that go boom. So this does not scale. Deals 192 physical damage. Is considered to be a ballista. Jar cannon, which uses explosives to fire great bolts. Deals great damage, but is slow to reload. Experimental firearm brought to the assault on Volcano Manor, where it was discovered that no one knew how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! So wait, can I have a hammer in one hand and a cannon in another? I think that'd be great. This be a viable place... Oh, you have to actually aim it? Aw, oh, that sucks. So what if I just wanted to shoot it? Oh. Press R1 or L1 and it just like... I mean L2 or L1. It just goes like this. Okay, well, what happens when you actually... Can you just shoot it like this? That is pretty cool, though. So what did I just fired? Uh, I guess I fired ballista bolt. And then you can fire explosive great bolts. <laughs> Pretty cool, but not necessarily what I'm looking for. I would like something that I could fire off while I have my hammer equipped so that I can swap between, you know, but not like that. Anyhow, that was a cool find. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Now we have the one that was under a minor Erd tree. That was the next dungeon that we got to do. So, this one. Wait, before we do that. We're going to clean this place up. We're going to clean it good. We're going to clean it good. Oh, wow. You are committing to this one the second you jump in, huh? Hi. Is it a mine? It's got soldiers on it. That doesn't mean anything in regards to it being a mine. I'm just thinking, like, could it be a mine? Oh. Dude, we're gonna land ride and poison? Ugh. I already don't like this place.
Oh, great. Okay, now let's actually take a look around here. Uh, we just came from there. There's dudes all the way to there. <clears throat> I'm going to have to get poisoned. There's just no way that I'm going to be able to avoid it the whole time. Even though the dungeon is essentially designed to avoid you getting poisoned if you take your time and whatnot, but that ain't me. I ain't about that life. See, we're poisoned. That's fine. Rats are going to be here, right? Yep, big filthy rats. There's always rats in the sewers, man. It's always rats. So at this point, I could essentially get rid of this uh, thing, but... Oh, hello. I love this! It's so good. Usually my weapons can't deal with these dudes because you guys know me. I like playing big, raw physical damage. So that usually means my weapons can't deal with these bad boys, but this time it'd be different. You guys are playing merry-go-round. That's cool. I'm I'm gonna do a reverse merry-go-round. Did I win? I think I won. I feel like a winner. Let's keep it going. Secret wall? Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. This looks like potentially a boss arena. <clears throat> okay, we'll have to go further down. But before we do that, let's explore the rest of the poison area. Boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -boo -boo. Rats! Rats! And probably a big one. No big one? Uh, still small one. No, there's gotta be a big one. Where's the big one? Come on. Come on. Really? No big rat. Oh, wait, there's passage through here. It's okay, I'm already poisoned. Don't worry about me. Oh, God. See, I was listening to one of these big plants. Dude, you know what I think would work great? One of these right here. Boom! And another one. Boom! Can we have one more, sir? Boom! That's what I'm talking about. That's what Papa's talking about. Have another one! Ow! Bitch! Boom! Mushroom head, mushroom body, mushroom arms, mushroom legs. I can look like a mushroom! That's probably got like the highest, I would imagine, that has to have the highest poison resistance in the game. There's no... No, don't drink it! Crap. Oh, well, I would imagine there'll be like a steak where we're going. 
Where we're going, there's gonna be steaks. And not of the meat variety. Uh, am I supposed to jump down? Oh no, you don't have to jump. Hello! Bye-bye! And I believe that takes care of that, so now we go back and we try to go... ...back to where the safe spot was, because there wasn't poison there! Yay! Wait, what the hell? Dude. This place is so unbelievably dark, I can't see a goddamn thing. Okay, yeah, through here. And then... and then... Dude, I think I might need a goddamn torch. Because the lantern's just not doing it. The lantern is just not doing it right now. Where the hell am I? Exactly. Now we go through here and we exit. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So, I'm actually gonna do this. Pop another one of these. Yep, there's the steak. I expected there would be a steak. I actually hadn't seen it yet, but I expected there would be a steak. Bonk. Okay, down into the cave we go. So we have to do a jumping puzzle before the boss fight. With rats. I don't like where the stake is at. This place is too big. I guess the stake is just marking us a halfway point or no. Nope, it's the boss fight right there. Okay. So, we better not die, because there's a jumping puzzle every time you die. It's not really a jumping puzzle, but you have to actually pay attention. I just like yeeting myself at bosses after I die. Just want to yeet myself at it as hard as humanly possible. Alright. Let's see what's behind door number one. Oh, crap. I hate these. I hate them. I'm gonna die because of them. Stop! Kindred of Rot's Exaltation. Alright. Let's take a look see. Kindred of Rot's Exaltation. Poisoning a rot in vicinity increases attack power. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Talisman depicting the exaltation of pests raises attack power when poisoning a rot occurs in the vicinity. Rot for the Scarlet Goddess, so Scarlet Blossoms flourish in different lands and return to us, the unwanted children. And also, what about that mushroom armor? What about that mushroom armor? Mushroom body. Mushrooms found growing all over the body. These overgrown mushrooms have colonized the torso. To those enraptured by the Scarlet Rot, they are holy vestments that root one to the earth. Sure. And yeah, it's got the highest immunity. Ah, look at that. Glorious. It's disgusting. No thanks. No thanks, my guy. How many of you were watching, um, 
this scene play out is I was going through my the, all this different armor, and how many of you were thinking, oh, he's not going to notice that he's poisoned, he's going to die. I take great pleasure in breaking your dreams. <laughs> You were just, you were just, oh, I hope he doesn't notice he's going to die to the poison. I bet, I bet there's a bunch of you out there that were just thinking about that. You guys like, oh my God, he's going to mess it up. He's going to die to the poison. No, I'm not. All right. Um, 45,000. That's not really going to do it for us. Um, can I teleport already? Yes, I can. So we can get rid of this. So, and from now, we go uh, left to right, I would imagine. I still don't know how to get to this thing. Uh, I'm not going to waste any time with that. I might go there off camera, and then if I figure it out, I might let you guys know. But, uh, like I said, left to right. So we start over here. We're not going to do the... I mean, we'll leave the tower for last. And we're not doing this one either. Screw that. Maybe I'll try it, actually. I mean, I'm much more powerful now. Maybe I'll be able to do it? Who knows? The thing is, that one requires a lot of uh, resetting and whatnot, and that is boring. That's a problem. That is boring, and that is also going to cause me to waste a lot of time editing. The resetting of it, it's like, because like, what you have to do when you're fighting a nighttime enemy, right? And you want to get multiple attempts in, you go there, rest until nighttime, then you get out. Wait, no, I messed up. You go there, you rest until nighttime, then you get out, and then after you get out, you have to sit on it and rest again to reset the area, and then you can go and fight the enemy. And then after you die, you have to go back and do it again. You have to rest, wait till nighttime, then get up, then rest again, and then you can fight the enemy. And that, to me, is annoying. Like, if I could just yeet myself at it faster, Get more attempts in instead of having to navigate menus. I'd be much more willing to just jump in there. But like this, I feel like, oh, I only want to go there when I don't have to waste like a million hours trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing to begin with. So this is not the boss. Then I would imagine that this way is to the boss, right? Because I don't remember seeing the boss up there. Oh, crap. This is weird. Is this Scarlet Rot? I think this might be Scarlet Rot. Yep, that's Scarlet Rot. Ooh, and a bunch of little dudes popped up as well. So maybe this is the way to the boss then. Maybe not. Okay, this is very much a non-linear dungeon. Okay, we'll go this way first. Alright, this is still a three. Oh, nice! We opened the door this way. Perfect. Ah! Dude, these dudes are always placed like that. This was just me getting, like, eager. It was also because of the fact that I picked up the three glow whatever. And so my brain just goes, okay, this is gonna be an easy dungeon because that's a glow three. Uh, okay, so basically you come here, easy to open the door, now you have to find the actual boss, uh, the actual boss door. By going to the other side. That's fair enough. I'm gonna do this, just in case we die. Oh, damn, that's, uh, that's actually a lot of you. Okay, in that case, try this. Friggin' glorious! Oh, man, the four-for-one special, dude. We got that shit on discount. Dead. We're probably going to get Scarlet Rot. The Onion Butterfly. Glowvert 5. Things are escalating. 
there's no ladder, no nothing. Which leads me to believe secret wall somewhere? No, wait a minute. No ladder, no nothing. Just a big... Just a big puddle of death. There's dudes up there. There's gotta be like a secret wall in here. There's no way. Seriously? Well, if there's not a secret wall here, there's gotta be a secret wall somewhere. Could it be the elevator? No, wait! Good job. That was good. Subverted my expectations right there. Oh, god damn it. Ugh. I mean, this is the dungeon just saying, you're gonna get Scarlet Rock. But here's what I have to say to that. Here's what I have to say to that. What if? What if? What's that noise I'm listening to? Okay. What if, though, I happen to be a mushroom? Did you consider that game? I don't think you considered the possibility of me being a fucking mushroom. Yes. Yes. This is what we'll do. We will become the mushroom. I am the mushroom! Scarlet Rot, Schmarlet Rot. I can stay in here all day. All day. I can stay here all day. All day. You guys think there'll be Scarlet stuff in there? I don't, I don't think it'll be too important if there's... I mean, I guess I just changed my clothes for nothing. Because, I mean... <laughs> just across that I expected there'd be a lot more than just that hallway but yeah that's our new uh, Scarlet Rot set right there you just become the mushroom you just go up to the game and you're like what if I was a mushroom would that still be the case oh two of them oh nice and they're both running straight at me One of them got me. Crap. Crap. Okay, two of these is gonna be a problem. Luckily, it doesn't seem like they have that much health. Sword boy is about to go.
Come meet the boom hammered, my dude. Bye bye. The boom hammer. Mad pumpkin head ashes. Nice. So that's another one right there. Uh, we got Jarboy up ahead. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We got We can clear this one now. Uh, what's this? The Van Tower of Caled Basement. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, right. We also have the one from Radon. And apparently this one down here, Kaled Catacombs. Uh, let's go, Kaled. Kaled Catacombs. I don't even remember finding this one. It's been so long. This is the thing about it, though. You let them pile up, and then you just have a ton of them and you, that you haven't done. Okay. So we're at 55,000. Yeah, it's still not enough to level up, I don't think. So, whatever. Okay, we got another Scarlet Rod one, which is where I tell you, what if I became the Mushroom? This is the question that you gotta ask yourself. What happens if Rurikon becomes the Mushroom, though? You know? It's like, listen guys, this is how you solve every problem. You just, you just become the Mushroom. No. No, no, no. I don't even care about any of the Wait, there's a glove worth there. I do care. I am a mushroom. I am a mushroom. I am a mushroom and there's nothing you can do. Bonk. La -da 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 -da. I will remain a mushroom. In case there's more of that. What the hell? Hello. Dead like Zed. What else we got in here? Is there mo Yep, I see some more scarlet rot there. Which means I will remain a mushroom. I'm a good little mushroom. It takes so long for scarlet to decay though. Can I clean it using the spell? I probably can. Wait, what the hell? Was there a big flower there? Where's the big flower? Interesting. Eesh. Oh, there it is. Can I do this? Nice. Alrighty. It's time to deliver swift justice. Oh, I can't do flame cleanse me. Uh oh. I think we should be fine. Or maybe I'll get scarlet rotted. Oh no! Miranda sprout ashes. Ugh, scarlet rot is bad. The hell are Miranda. Is it like, can I just summon a friggin' flower? No way. Uh, Miranda Sprout Ashes. Oh, it's flowers. HP cost. Summons five Miranda Sprout Spirits. This is probably really good. Assuming that these are like the red ones, not the, the Scarlet Rod ones, not just the poison ones. Yeah, I think Miranda Flowers would be Scarlet Rod. Uh, 
I am a mushroom. Uh-oh. Well, this is not good. So we found the boss room. But we haven't found... I'm gonna have to get Scarlet Rotted again. Oh! Okay. That was weird. I don't even know why I felt like striking that, and it looks like I hit it from the other side. I was like, I don't know, there's something weird about this, how there's a chair here. I started whacking at it. Okay. Uh, so we cleared that. I mean, somehow I suspect that in this dungeon, though, the boss is going to have poison. Well, in the other one, it didn't. Usually, they don't take into account the need for poison in bosses. I'm going to assume that that remains the same. Although, I still think that this boss will feature poison. But I don't think I'll need the armor. Plus style. Oh, it's a shade. God, I can't stand that sound! Why don't you have a seat there, Shade? Kindred of Rot Ashes. I don't like those. I don't like them. I'm leaving. 63,000... I suspect... That might be enough to level? Nope. Need a thousand more. So, we can now get rid of this one. And then from here, we have the tower, that dude, and we have two more. So we're going to do Dragon Barrel. Turn up dungeons, dudes. It's like the Bloodborne episodes where I was going through the multiple... Did I ever show people Yarnum? I think I did. I think I was recording that. Where I was going through the Chalice dungeons. It's kind of like the same thing. That, that's what this episode is. It's all about the dungeons. Now, this one I suspect is actually going to be significantly harder. Because this one was right below the dude that gave me like 90,000 souls. So we're going to spend these souls that we got right here. Uh, I'm going to pop this one. It's going to be 1,200, right? Nice. Will that let me level up, though? Yes, it will. Let's go for strength. <clears throat> I need to start pumping more vi more vigor, though. I need to start pumping vigor up to 60. As a matter of fact, I might even respec. Because I should have been pumping more, more and more vigor. Oh, God! Oh, God! See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. What the hell, dude? It's like a big, fat rune bear. That was a thousand damage. 
These dudes' HP is bloated to hell and back, though. Are you kidding? Dude, I hate rune bears. I actively have begun hating rune bears. They're so annoying. Like, dude, I'm, I'm halfway through my flasks. I haven't even gotten half of his health now. What if I just avoid him? Yeah, you can't get through here. Can't get through here. Screw you. I guess that's the point. In this dungeon, you're not... Maybe you're not... I mean, you can kill it, but maybe... You're like, who cares? Bull Goat's Talisman. You want to bet this is a poised talisman? I bet you it's a poised talisman. Wait, what? Here it is. Knew it. Because it, it resembles the armor of um, Targoth or whatever his name was. Tagroth. I forget. And his armor is all about poise. So wait. I made it here. But I can't go any further. 
Then there's a rune bear outside. And I don't think there's any other any other ways into the cave. This is weird. No, wait, there's another passage this way. Alright. I should still go back and kill that bear at some point. These dudes dealt some beefy damage. Then again, I'm running around nearly naked. I know I have armor, but this is mostly just for show. I got a feeling we're gonna fight a beastman, like the that first cave, one of the first caves in Limgrave, had a beastman in it, was surrounded by wolves. I got a feeling that that's what we'll be fighting. Okay, so this is clearly the way forward. Just being thorough with my exploration. Okay, yeah, we've been through here. Did I explore everything here, though? Yes, I did. Okay. Two beastmen for the lack of one. Because of course. Okay. If I play my cards right, I can get a free shot on one of them. Damn it, the throwing knives one is such a piece of crap. Screw that guy right there. The throwing knives, dude? What the hell? Oh, great, and we have to, like, run all the way back. This is fantastic. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love how even bosses bounce off. This is great. <laughs> oh, the abuse. But up, 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 but up, 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 The absolute abuse of the beastman here, Flame Drake Talisman, which is essentially what you get in the first one. Holy crap, that's a lot of souls, runes even. Thank you. 
Thank you kindly. That's a lot of runes. That's a lot of them there runes right there. All right. Now, uh, we can... I think we already marked it off, so... We can go here. War Dead Catacombs. Now, these are the catacombs that were uh, in the beach. Like, remember I told you guys I found a thing? I had found a dungeon all the way out here. This is where we fought Radon. I ran all the way out of here after the Radon fight, and then I found this. I told you guys this in episode 44, I believe it would have been, because Radon is 43. So we can level up now. And like I said, I should probably, like, take four points out of strength, put them into vigor, I think. We will potentially respect for that. I don't I don't know, dude. One thing's for certain. I want more vigor, dude. This vigor ain't good enough. Maybe I'll put one more point in the strength to have it an even 65. But then we're gonna move on and we're gonna do we're gonna do vigor. But before we continue though, that is gonna be it for this episode. Because, you know, I'm trying to keep these a certain length and I'm getting carried away. But we're almost done with all of the dungeons. This is a full episode of dungeons. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I told you, I do enjoy being thorough and I do want to share with you my adventures. So, um, yeah, if you guys are enjoying it, hit the like button. If you're not enjoying it, dislike button. Feedback is important. Uh, subscribe, bell notification icon, all that jazz. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong, stay safe. Peace out.